Hi, this is Java Admin Point of Sale System. Let me show you guys how this works. I'm going to select any of these items and just click on remove. There we go. And that's it. Let's select one more. There. We can even reset the whole lot. Click on reset. Add another product that you want and look at that. Look at what's happening. The system is automatically adding up the amount of the item selected. Okay, let's suppose we intend to pay by cash. Let's enter about, let's go for maybe 70 pounds and in there just click on pay. There. We can even print that out. Click on print and I'm going to print it out as a PDF file, Adobe PDF. Click on print, just one copy. Print there it's coming up all right there guys the system is asking us to give it a name i'm going to leave it as java printing and save it there on my desktop click on save and that is it right there okay and if you want to verify the printout let's go straight in here and just minimize that deficit right there that's the receipt that has just been printed out. You can compare it straight to the item that we have in here. Okay, let's exit out. And let's start work with a new tutorial. So I'm going to exit right out. Let's click on yes. Now I'm going to go back to the file here. Let's start with new project. And make sure you select your Java application. Click on next. And there, I'm going to give that project a name. I'm just going to call it Java POS and uncheck the create main class. There, click on finish. All right, and right here, my Java POS is ready. Right click on the application package itself and let's select jframe there we go i'm just going to call that java pos as well there we go and right there so then let's click on finish there and right there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on this very frame and let's select set layout then select absolute layout there now right click on it again and let's select the properties once the properties is selected let's go to code right inside the code here let's change the font size to 1400 by I'm going to make that 800 and where we have generate center just make sure that is checked and close that is it already now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here the palette let's select panel just drag the panel right here and drag it that much now let's go to the properties of the panel and look for border click on the border I I'm going to now select, let's go for bevel, yeah, this very one, and instead of raise, I'm going to make that lowered, and click on OK, that is it, now, I'm going to right click on it and just select it, I'll copy it, I mean, and just paste it right here, paste, and that is it, drag it all the way here, yeah, and just drag it out much. there we go that's fine okay now let's go back into the palette and select table there we go that's our table there I'm gonna paste that table right here and I just need to make that table let's go for three instead of four rows four instead of four columns I'm gonna make that three All right move this up yeah that's fine and I'm going to select the properties for this table. Let's go to the property and where we have model right here. Click on that. And right there, instead of four, I'm going to make that just three. That's column. Make that three. Get rid of that. 
and the number of rows I'm going to make that zero there will be nothing in there now the very first one here I'm going to change the name to item I'll follow by let's change this to quantity and here we change this one to amount there we go and that's all there is to that okay click on ok yeah that is it that one is sorted right next thing we want to do now is let's add some buttons here go straight to my palette grab a button there paste it right there but first thing first because of these lines i'm going to right click on it and let's select set layer make sure it's absolutely clear that's good so that i can change i can move around the way i want i'm going to repeat the same thing here right click set layer select absolute layer so we can now move our object anyhow we want so that is fine so let's select this very object and change the font size to something a little bit readable i'm going to make it let's come for about 36 and click on ok that's cool and we're going to get rid of the text content in there come back in here let's get rid of that text content and change it to seven there okay now i'm going to right click or just press ctrl c copy ctrl v paste so we have another one here and another one here so select it all one two three and just copy and paste one two and three ctrl c ctrl v paste drag it down we have six so let's select it all ctrl c ctrl v paste now we have in total we have 12 buttons so let's bring it down a little bit and we need to do the same thing here as well I'm just going to grab one of these buttons copy and let's paste it right in here there and the text content I want to get rid of that get rid of it we don't need that okay now let's copy this across we will need about in total 18 copy paste we have two paste and select it all control C control V paste there we go that's fine now select it all control C control V paste we have 12 and paste another one that's 18 complete brilliant now okay let's add another palette here let's come in here add another panel i mean right underneath here and i'm going to change that to bevel as well and that is it instead of raise let's white there and right click on it let's change the yeah let's change it to absolutely right and that is it right here let's bring it this way and just um, just going to extend it this much there we go right there and i might as well just copy another one let's copy ctrl c paste and just reduce the size of this very one that i've just copied let's just reduce it that much okay there all right that's fine i'm going to copy that again ctrl c paste we have two and one more we have three okay let's add labels so i'm going to come back in here let's grab a label there we go that's a label here and let's change the size of that label to we'll make that about 24 bold yeah that's fine okay and a very label let's change the content to subtotal subtotal there we go and at the same time might as well just copy it control c control v and paste that will be for tax and another one control v 
and we for soccer tool top and just double click on it get rid of that stuff double click on this and just change the text content to tax there and i'm going to copy these three copy them and paste them right in here okay that's fine right now the next thing is let's add text field one text field here change the font size to 24 as well 24 bold there and just extend it that much Control c copy paste and another one copy paste so let's grab two here copy those two and just paste them in here now i'm going to add a combo box here go back to the palette and let's grab combo box paste that in here and change the font size of that combo box to 24 as well come right here go back in here okay first of all let's change this to let's just change as follows delete all of that the first one is going to be cash underneath that will be visa card and master card there and click on ok so let's change the font size make that bold 24 yeah that's fine and get rid of all the text content in here let's get rid of that delete now change the variable names of individuals so this one is let's change this one to txt jtxt change right that's fine and we change the name of this one to jtxt display jtxt display yeah that's fine display so it's okay right click on ok and here let's change it the data we have in here i'm going to change this one to payment method right let's move it back a little bit and we may have to collapse this a little bit yeah that's fine okay now this is going to be cash um here i'm going to change that to change okay all right that's fine okay we we'll get rid of the text content here as well come right here just get rid of that there that's going to be JTXT. Select that again. Variable name JTXT. JTXT subtotal. Okay. Copy that. And this one is going to be JTXT total. Let's get rid of the sub there. Why this is going to be JTXT tabs? JTXT tabs there I write up here I'm going to add a text box so let's grab a text box yeah and this text box here I'm going to change that to barcode right click and get rid of the text content change the variable name right click and change that to JTXT back code right there okay looking good now the next thing is let's drag this down a little bit okay then that's fine now let's come in here change the data we have in here to and just change that to go back in there right click change that to eight eight the next one is going to be nine and the variable name that will be BT, jbtn jbtn9 and i'm going to repeat the same thing for the others okay all done now i'm going to select this very text here and let's go to the properties i want to change the font 
two barcode that I've already installed. So let's just enter, press C there. Let's do that again. Come back in here, font, and let's look for C right here. Press C, and there we go. That is it. That's the barcode there. And now I'm just gonna pick on OK. There, yeah, that's fine. So let's try it out and make sure that's barcode in there. Yeah, that is fine. So I'm going to let's increase the font size so I can get it right. Font right here. Just let's make it about 36 and see that. Okay, that's fine now. Okay, get rid of the text content in there. Okay, so save. Now the next thing I want to do is just to add some buttons here. So I'm gonna come back in here now, grab buttons there. Let's paste that here. Let's drag it that much. One. Copy control oh, change. Let's change the appearance for us to bold twenty four there. And let's just copy it. Control C. Control V and copy both again. Control C and Control V. There. Okay, let's paste just one underneath. Control C, Control there. Let's paste it here and drag it that much. Yeah. Okay, that is fine. And change the text content of this to exit and the variable name is going to be btn exit jbtn exit jbtn exit taking care of the next one here print variable name will be jbtn print jbtn print next one is going to be pay variable name is going to be jbtn pay right click variable name jbtn pay and this is going to be reset variable name is going to be jbtn reset J B T N reset and finally this is going to be remove remove item or remove whatever okay, that's fine copy and variable name J B T N remove there that is it that's the interface Let's compile that and let's run it and see how that looks like. Okay, let's run. And this is how it's looking. Okay, now the next thing is let's add some images to these buttons. So exit out. But before I can do that, I'm going to go straight into the project area here. And right here, I want to click on this. Here, yeah, click on the source package, right click, and let's select new. And in there, let's select order. And inside order, come right down here. And I want to select order folder again and scroll right down. See this folder? Click on that folder. Click on next. Give it a name. I'm going to change it to image and just click on finish that should appear right there okay now the images that I need is right here those are the images that I need I'm gonna copy those images and just paste them right in there so let's select the ones I need so let's try one first right click on this and just copy it and paste it right in there paste there you see that guys that's how easy it is so I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the others I need 18 in total. Okay, all the images required is selected. So I'm just going to right click and copy them all. Copy and let's go straight into 
my image folder and just right click and paste there there we go and that's it okay I have 18 images there in total so let's select each of these buttons click on that and let's go straight to the property what we need now is the icon that is the icon right here drop down the icon we should be able to see the images let's click on that okay let's select that click on here and in here I'm going to change the defaults let's select that default to the image package and inside this image package select the folder okay the first one I'm just gonna select whatever in there let's click on that and that is that there now repeat the same thing for the next one and change that to image select whatever image we have in there paste next be the same thing and that is cappuccino and there for the next one image right we have three so that's going to be for the cocktail all right next one I guess you guys get the whole idea then I'm gonna just have to speed that up so select here what image is that I uh, have crazy coffee right now let's do one more then I can speed that up now select that and uh, we have homemade cake there we go right so I'm now going to speed that up and I will get back to you guys as soon as I am done with the placing of all the images there we go okay guys all of the images are in place now so what I'm going to do is I'm, I need to get rid of this column I don't want them there so let's come back in here model just select that and let's come here you see where we have rows i'm going to just change that to zero that's minus 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 that's fine click on okay all right that's fine that's how i want it okay so it's all done now so what we then need to do is let's start work with writing lines of codes so for the very first button here okay for this very first button i'm going to right click and let's go to event let's select action and action perform and right in here let's get rid of that comment now the very first thing I'm going to do is to call a string data type and this string data type I'm going to call it enter number and enter number equals JTXT display dot get text there enter semicolon all right so let's use an if statement if enter number equals equals nothing enter curly braces there so let's close that curly braces and we're going to say jtxd display grab that and just paste that in here jtxt display dot set text as whatever we have in here so that's going to be jtxd no jbtn dot dot get text and that should take care of whatever data i have on the text itself else come right down here put up coil braces come right down and uh, yeah in there it's going to become JTX no it's gonna become enter number 
grab all of these now and paste it right in here enter number equals jtxt display dot get text plus whatever we have in here grab that and i'm going to just enter a plus sign here paste that in there okay and right underneath i'm going to then say jtxt dot set jtxt display copy that and paste that right underneath here jtxt display dot set text and what do we have in there is going to be enter number right and just end that there so what I've just done in here is if I click on that button once it will display number seven but if I keep clicking it will keep adding number seven to my display object so let's compile and just run it and see how that's going to work and let's try it out now there we go look at that so that is fine so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to copy everything come right down here copy this and go back in here right click on button number eight event action action perform and that is number eight right there paste that in there and just change the variable name to eight and this one is eight there right i think that is done yeah let's go to the next one next one is number nine let's just paste that in here number nine paste and change the variable name to nine nine we have a nine here as well and the next one is going to be four there we go paste that in here that will be four uh, four here and we have another four here number five paste right here and change the variable name to five five and a five here guess you guys can see the lines of code from here okay we have five now repeat the same thing for six number six right underneath here paste change the variable of that button to six and this is six as well okay one repeat exactly the same thing for one there paste as one and we have a one here as well two paste change that to two we have a two here and this is a two there the next one is a three right click there we go and repeat the same thing that's three and the next one is going to be for the zero right click and let's look for the zero there we go and paste that in here there change the variable name to zero and a zero right here okay that is fine so let's take care of one and two okay in the case of this one let's just grab these and right click and all we then need to just do is to get rid of whatever we have in here so i'm going to grab all of this copy that paste that in here there and just clear whatever content i have in here so that takes care of that i also need to take care of jttxt change in case if i have any other thing inside change i should be able to take care of that as well there we go so that takes care of the reset declare i mean declare button so let's take care of the full stop right click on the full stop events action action perform 
in the case of the full stop here i'm just going to use as follows let's use an if statement here if i said not jtfc display dot get text and the text dot contains contains the decimal place let's put that in a quote there so in that case what will happen is let's enter a curly braces first then we just we then need to enter as follows jtxd dot set we want you to set whatever we have in here let's open up a bracket and paste that in there dot set that very one to get whatever we want in there get the jtxd as well and enter parenthesis plus whatever we have on the button so that's going to be jt jbtn jbtn dot get text there and then enter semicolon right here okay that should take care of the full stop or the decimal place okay let's see that is correct okay i'm going to compile and just run it and see how that works all right let's run click on run and there we go yeah look at that let's enter full stop and let's see yeah that's fine it's working as expected okay clear that is beautiful right it's working as expected guys and let's enter some other stuff in here clear yeah that's working fine so with that i'm going to call it the end of the first part of this tutorial and i'll see you guys shortly